You see, the thing about Wu Ha was how down to earth he was. See, he knew it was all bullshit in the end, you know? Through the centuries, it has been the fate of certain men to blaze brighter than others. Harris, Reed, O'Toole, Burton, Depp, and of course, Wu Ha Frank Barrington. For 40 years, Barrington towered like a hard drinking colossus over the Hollywood Hills. You dare bid the founder of Rome kneel? No, by Jupiter, you kneel for me. Were you raised by wolves? Yes, I was, actually. You've beaten back the Black and Tans! They're giving us the Republic! And Peggy, she's well, Shady. She's fine, Shady. She's back in the parochial house. <sighs> Oh, thank God. But no less than his extraordinary on-screen performances, his antics off-screen became the stuff of legend. He's all over the place. He's blowing raspberries when other actors are trying to save their lives. He's vomiting all over the front row. He's taking phone calls. At one point, he goes into the wings and takes a shit. But it was magic. Absolutely magic. Shortly afterwards, he came backstage, storming in with a face like thunder, and pinned me up against the wall of a store cupboard, brandishing a frozen lamb shank. He always used to say that if he hadn't become an actor, he would have become a mass murderer or a genocidist. And I think it was probably true. And I knew then that this man could kill me. Acting saved him. And saved the lives of hundreds of thousands of his potential victims. You know, if you were my company, you were riding bareback across the desert. You were shooting silver bullets into the OK Corral. You know, you were riding helter skelter down a uh, helter skelter with no clothes on. You know, with hangover and uh, an erection. That was me. Woo ha!